Welcome back to another Zero DTE video. Today we're going to be talking about the out of the money butterfly, so stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader, check out the link in the description for a four week trial. Enjoy. So I'm going to place in here our most basic trade, which is an out of the money butterfly and show you how we create that risk to reward. So this would be a, your typical risk graph. Let's say that right here is where price currently is at. Now, if I were to put on a butterfly at the money, it would look something like this, where the risk here is pretty big compared to the potential profit. Plus, I have to stay inside of here in order to guarantee profit. And so the profit curve would look something like this. This is fundamentally no different from an iron butterfly where they do something similar but they'll do something like this let's say that this is the zero line an iron butterfly will look kind of like this where they have this big risk and then the tiny little profit here and then the real-time profit curve will look like this very similar to that the difference is that the iron condor is giving you a much wider potential area for profiting both of those are really not great strategies because as soon as price moves this way or this way you start going down Downhill. And the amount of profit that's available in the butterfly is definitely better than the iron condor. However, you have a much narrower range in which you can make profit and price can move. All right. So what we need to do is do something very different. So instead of going at the money, we take our fly and we put it way out of the money and we put the, the center strike way out here. And the reason why we do that and when we do that, we can create a very exaggerated, very tiny risk to a large potential profit. Now, of course, I think what Deathly Gaming is saying, hey, it's not getting inside of my profit tent because we don't have enough price movement to get all the way over here. Well, first of all, I don't know where he's been, but there has been plenty of days, especially like today, that would easily get into your profit tent. But he's having trouble with not getting inside of the profit tent. But you don't have to. And I'll show you why. You don't have to because when you first get into this trade, it kind of looks like this. And if price doesn't move as much as you want, maybe it only moves to here, you are still in profit there. And if you're not taking these profits here, which often amount anywhere from 50 to 150% return on your risk, and instead you're waiting for it to get out here and you just hang out there hoping that it's going to get in your profit tent. And then eventually what's going to happen is this profit curve is going to keep on shrinking during the day and then until it fills up the profit tent and you're going to be shit out of luck out here and not getting the profit that you want. So it has nothing to do with the fact that you might be taking the kind of risk to reward you want. The problem is in your management, right? You're not taking the profit that is outside. If we always take profit early, we would never get into the tent. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Journey, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Thanks, guys.